everybody this is urban sweetheart Teresa so today tonight really I'm gonna make something quick and easy for dinner it's gonna be baked ziti and it's gonna be good all right it's gonna be fairly inexpensive and I think it will feed a nice maybe a family of five so I'm making a big uh, portion. All right, I use a little pat of butter, a medium-sized onion. I think I use the uh, uh, Spanish onion. You can use any onion you can get. Them. Remember what I told you? Always work with what you have on hand. I wanted a yellow onion, but uh, they only had some big, gigantic yellow onions, and I was not about to. I'm dealing with that. All right, we're gonna cook this down for a couple of minutes. Um, boiling some water that's for the big beauty when I say inexpensive this is from ShopRite bowl and basket baked ziti number two I got the smaller baked ziti I'm not playing when I tell y'all inexpensive y'all best believe I am not playing I'm not trying to break the bank all right I got three cloves of garlic In real fast. You don't want to burn your garlic, so it's going to be about 30 seconds just to get it fragrant. Then I have a, a package of ground beef. You want about uh, a pound. I think this is, uh, what is it? Uh, almost a pound and a half. But about a pound is good. About a pound. And we're gonna break that up and cook that down. I'm going to cook this down, and I'll be back once it's uh, finished. I'm going to pour this baked beauty in here. I put a pat of butter and a good sprinkling of some sea salt in here. Stir it up. Put nine minutes. This is cooked down. Surprisingly, there's not that much fluid. You know, normally you got some like oily stuff. It's not much. So, we're going to keep it pushing. I have some fresh parsley that I've chopped up. It looks like maybe two or three tablespoons. And some fresh basil. Uh, maybe like two tablespoons. Then I have tomatoes, three of these. Um, we're going to put that all in with the meat. Anything that I don't get in, y'all know that I'm going to come back off camera and slide that in. Yeah. Also want to put a tablespoon sugar balance out the acidity this is a half a, a tablespoon so that's it two times uh um so i'm gonna put a little sprinkle 
of pepper and salt because y'all know I don't do that much salt and just the pepper I'm using. So salt and pepper to taste, your taste. This is the um, sauce I'm using today. The Garden Combo Francesco Rinaldi. Use whatever you can get. This was 98 cent. See what one does. One. Because I don't want it too saucy. But I want it to, you know, cover all of the meat. I might not use all of the meat. You always can put it in the freezer, in a container, and have it for yourself personally. One day you might want some, um, you know, spaghetti. Pull that out. And, uh, you know make you some noodles now you see I'm scraping the bottom of the pan that's where all that flavor is scrape 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 you're gonna let this cook down so these tomatoes can soften up this way you would taste also a flavor profile and oh yeah you know what I'm really forgetting uh, tomato paste I'm gonna crack this open and I'm gonna put a tablespoon of tomato paste in there too. All right, so I'm gonna do all that. And once this finished, I'm gonna drain that and show you how the next step. So I'm gonna turn this down on low. First, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna turn it down on low and I'm gonna check it for seasoning. And if it's good, then I'm gonna uh, um, turn it down low and let it simmer for uh, probably about 20, 30 minutes to let those uh, tomatoes break down. All right, so now what I have is green peppers. I have a half of a yellow, half of a red, half of a green pepper, a tablespoon of butter, what I'm trying to do is sweat these down some. I didn't chop them up small. As you can see, I kind of left them like in chunk size pieces. I want you to be able to taste them. You can chop them up as big or as small as you want. I'm gonna add, once those sweat down, soften up, I'm gonna add chicken sausage, sweet Italian chicken sausage. I took them out of the case and that's why they look like this. Yeah, I know what casing is, right? That's when it's in the, um, uh, like hot dog thing, you know, the skin. And all I do is squeeze it out. Don't get the, the, uh, ground chicken because it's not seasoned. This is seasoned as an Italian style already. So it's going to go good with the, um, the baked ziti. So we're going to sweat this down a little more. See, it's make a little bit of noise. It's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna continue on. This is how our uh, tomatoes and stuff is going. See how those tomatoes is breaking down. All right, so let's get over here and do our noodles. All right, I've drained them. This is our ziti. We're about to add 32 ounces. Uh, what was on sale for $2.99 of ricotta. Come on out, ricotta. Get out. Come on. Alright, so this was the brand I used. It was on sale. A little more in there, so I'm not gonna throw that away yet. I have one egg, slightly beaten. You won't try to be technical. All right, I'm gonna put in a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of 
garlic powder. A half a teaspoon. Yeah, I know I can judge this. <laughs> of um, Italian seasoning. And I'm not going to put no salt because all this cheese got salt in it for days. But if you want to add salt, knock yourself out. Some fresh ground pepper. I'm probably going to put a little bit more before I put it all the way in. All right, the cheese I'm using, we have this pre-shredded because I realized that I didn't have a shredder. I had broke my shredder for the cheese. So I said, let me just get this, this already shredded. All right, the mozzarella, smoked provolone, Parmesan, and Romano cheese mix, eight ounces. ounces so we put that in there and I have another bag I think I can't add it until I start I'm probably gonna put half of this this is just whole mozzarella and I'm probably gonna put just a pinch of this uh, three cheese blend parm Asiago and Romano if I put any it's just looks like that if I put any I'm gonna see how cheesy it is I can't taste it remember you got a raw egg and then I'm gonna put a half a cup of the uh, um, sauce in here all right let's go back over here real fast yeah just look at Taking this time, but it's sweating down. So I'll be back. Oh, yeah. And I'm also going to put some more parsley and some basil inside of this, too. So I'm going to put that in there, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, so it's also just cooked down peppers. This is what it's looking like. jar. I'm going to start off with half a jar. I use a different kind of garlic and onion only because I didn't put none in here. So I kind of want to put a little bit of that flavor. So I put about half the jar. So I'm thinking I won't need the whole thing. But you never know. And I definitely had to go up on the, um, the sauce for the um, ziti noodles. I had went with a half a cup initially. I had to put that half a cup plus a whole nother cup of sauce in there. It was looking dry. And it soaked up all that sauce. So just eyeball it if you see that your um noodles is drinking it up. Add a little bit more. start assembling let to sit while I go get everybody this is gonna be the tricky part I'm trying to film this by myself all right here we go so we're gonna start out with a pan this is kind of deep as you can see I try to look for a little bit deeper than this but it's the best I could find all right I'm gonna try to ladle some of this in we're gonna start out with the meat sauce you know what? I'm going to put a little bit more sauce in there. Because I need this to be loose. It's thickened up while it's sitting there. Um, 
reducing with the tomatoes and everything. Stir that up. See how it thickened it up. But shoot, we would have ran out when we got to the second layer. First layer, boom. Spread it out. <sighs> Put cheese, mozzarella. Remember I told you I lost my grater. I had to get the pre-graded. Normally, I'd like to grade it myself. So I think they put some type of something in it when they grade it and it dries it out. And of course, it makes it saltier. So I prefer to do freshly ground myself. So I use probably a half a bag right now, four ounces. All right, next. Ooh, this thing gonna get heavy too. I'm just gonna try to show y'all best I can. I'm telling y'all this is gonna be hard. Then we have this. Remember I told y'all I had to add a lot more um, sauce than I thought originally because it was dry. Maybe it was the cheese I added. I don't know. But trust me, it's gonna be good. Watch. So I gotta spread that out. And whew, challenging ain't the word. We're gonna push that down in that sauce. Push it down in that drawer. Push it down in that sauce. Down in there. All right, with that being done, I chopped up some fresh mozzarella. I'm just gonna put a few slices here and there. Try to slice it as thin as I could. set next layer here's where it gets tricky a surprise baby spinach put a layer of baby spinach wasn't expecting that was y'all you don't even have to cook it down or nothing because it's gonna cook when you put it in the oven not too thick but not too thin, because you know this stuff will cook down. So, let me see I got. Uh, what it says, um, I'm trying to see the net weight, five ounces. So I'll use half the container in here. Remember again, press it down. Now, the sausage mixture, sausage and peppers, guess what, I'm about to add pepper jack cheese to it. A bar of pe pepper jack cheese. Stir it up. And you want to make sure it's mixed because you don't want no lumps of cheese. Make sure it's all mixed throughout. Then we're gonna pour that on top of here. Give me a minute because this is getting messy. I'm about to pour this. Oh, I am. This thing is humongous. Humongous. I haven't made one in a while. <laughs> I think I might have overdid it. It's humongous. I used up all that sliced cheese and I sprinkled some more loose cheese and I put some Parmesan on top. This is gonna go in the oven at 350 
tint it. I want to tint it because I don't want to darken the cheese on top yet. Uh, for about an hour, 350, 360, we're going to check it after an hour and see how it's looking. Um, all we're going to do is melt all that cheese all the way through. That's pretty much what we're trying to do. And maybe at, after an hour, we'll take the foil tint off. Make sure it doesn't make contact with the top. Put a little fresh basil and parsley on it. And let it cook for probably another 10, 15 minutes just to brown the cheese on the top. All right, so I'll be back once that's done. Ooh, I'm trying to transfer it because I should have had this doubled up. It's so heavy. And then I'm going to put it on this cookie sheet and put it in the oven. Pray for me, Lord. <laughs> Pray for me, y'all, that I don't drop this. Trying to transfer it, you know, lift it and get it on this thing by myself. And then I got this mess of dishes to wash. woo -wee. All right. All right, y'all. I ain't going to style and lie. I was so tired last night. I, I did the last little piece I did. Uh, I put this thing in the refrigerator and went my behind to sleep. So I got up in the morning. I put it in the oven, 350. I left it in there about for an hour and 15 minutes. And then I laid back down. And I got up to get ready to go get ready for work. And I took the cover off. And I turned it up to 375 and put 15 minutes on it and put the timer on. And after that, I cut it off. I let it sit out for about 30 minutes. So we about to cut into it. All right. Like I said, I made way too much. Uh, I guess my stomach was bigger than my eyes. There ain't no way I'm eating all of this. I guess I'll be doing the giveaway. All right. lift this out Not making an uber mess yeah yeah it's gonna be a mess <laughs> it's gonna be a mess i wanted y'all to see when it come out oh it ain't gonna happen all right i'm about to come back and, all right i got it out you can see it started closing back up I started eating before I could start filming. Absolutely delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It's enough sauce. I told y'all. Would be enough sauce. Pan shaking. There's enough sauce in there. Mm. Yes, I'm being greedy. <laughs> Stop shaking. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Make the for breakfast. Alright, I gotta go to work, y'all. Bye.